Hi, Tim and welcome back. Hope you're having an amazing day. You know, it's amazing when uh, you do not eat for a while and you don't really recognize how you don't feel that good. And then all you got to do is have a little bit of food, maybe some carbs, rep replenish the glycogen stores, have a little bit of salt, and boom, you're feeling great. I tried recording a video before this. I just, there was a, a lethargy there. And I realized that, you know, I need to eat. That Snickers commercial, you're not yourself when you're hungry. There's some truth to that, you know? So simple fix, just eat some carbs. Eat a piece of fruit. I usually eat a piece of fruit before I go train. Maybe an orange, maybe an apple, who, whatever. Have oats every morning. I'll show you guys a protein shake that I make every morning. I'm gonna get that done for you. So let's talk. Let's have a high thumos talk, all right? We gotta, if you're in this earth, which uh, I assume you are, you're probably in this world watching this, then have you seen the Hubble telescope or have you ever looked into space? You ever, like when's the last time you looked up you know, under those stars, man, and you start to think, damn dude, what is this? What is this? What is consciousness? What is consciousness? What the heck? I'm, I'm here and then I'm gone. I'm here and then I'm, I'm, I live for like, you know, 80 years, 100 years, and then I'm, I'm out of here. What the heck? What is this? So, so you, you got like, or I don't know about you, man. I used to think about this a lot. I kind of stopped thinking about it. I wish I started thinking about it more. I feel like I just became okay with, huh, huh, uh, herp derp, I'm on this earth. And uh, one day I'm gonna die. And then, you know, that's just how it is. Like, no man, this is cool. This is really cool. This is amazing that we're even like a thing. It's amazing that I'm even talking to you right here. Like I'm just, like I have a mouth and lips and you know, I'm just bobbing my head in front of this camera and you guys can see it and then comment and wow, just so cool. So, you know, th with that being said, I don't have the answers. No way, boy, yo, you know, I don't have any of the answers. And I'm, I just, I, I think I'm stupid a lot of times, honestly, I'm pretty dumb. But I've realized that there's definitely something going on. Definitely something higher than me. Like I get these little cats in here, they're about this big, right? This big. And I'm thinking they're small. Okay, but what am I? I'm about maybe 2,500 times their size. Uh, so, so I'm pretty big, okay? But I'm a human. What else is bigger than me? A giraffe, an elephant is big. But what else? A killer whale is big. How big are we getting? You had the mammoths, killer whale's bigger. You have a beluga whale. What, what else is bigger than that? I don't know. I, I think a whale is probably the biggest animal in the universe maybe got some squids down there in the depths that are huge but uh we're not that big and not that size equates to intelligence at all but just think about how much bigger things that are alive the dinosaurs were alive you know we know that they were alive one time but what else is out there in our universe and what is the universe? Is the universe just like, like when I think of the universe, I think of like, you know, like, like my imagination can only go so far. And that's the universe. Like, that's it. There's, there's blackness, there's a bunch of these planets. I know there's billions of them, but it like, you know, I'm like, yeah, billions, but I don't know what that means. You know what I, I don't know what that means. So the universe is out there and I'm on this little planet. Carl Sagan said, you know, suspended little blue planet, suspended in a beam of light. And I have the audacity to like think that, uh, to not think that there's some God or that there's just something, even if the alien is God. Like, dude, if, if we're here, we're set on this earth to farm gold or something, and they're coming back to harvest it in a couple of years, like, dude, that's God to me. 
or if if we're if there's God that is just God, like you know, we're created. He He made us. He's probably doing something over in another galaxy. Just kind of blessed us with the Milky Way galaxy. We're kind of chilling, and He's uh. You know he's he's busy somewhere else. Sometimes he checks. I'm sorry, you guys good? All right, good. Okay, then fine. That's God. But like, there's something going on, and I don't know that something. And man, you better believe I believe in that. I believe in that not knowing, and I'll I'll worship that thing, man. Like I'll, you know, thank you, thank you for letting me be alive. And so that kind of wipes out this bitterness in my heart, and it, and it it's no less confusing, but it's more of like, okay, I can have faith 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 is inherently you, you can't know you don't have proof you gotta have faith you know so that's my faith and uh it's it's rock solid man like uh, like it really has taken away the sting of death it's taken away um but it goes to say that that there is there's there's glimpses or there's a certain taste of the higher the spiritual and i believe that 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 higher ideal, the highest, is is not going to let us just be here and not try to give us any direction or or impact us in any way. Okay, um, and you can see this very clearly in in how humans tried to capture the divine. I believe that humans try to capture the divine through tradition. Tradition, the meaning of the world word is transmission, to transmit. So it's the divine, the peak, the holy, transmitting to us, capturing this transmission of a higher ideal and creating what we have called tradition. There's certain traditions that you live by, not to just be, you know, to hold you together and stuff, but because they're from the highest of the high, the highest ideal, the highest way of being amongst multiple people. And we believe it and we live it and it serves us. It, it is like the best for us. It keeps us from despair and degenerating and it keeps us from from dying out and and uh, messing ourselves up in the way of life, like it, it's a way to capture those. You see it through many of the traditions, the past, the cycles. You see it in some of the the art, the way the art is, the way you know. You see it in a lot of stuff, the 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 symbols, the buildings, the the creation. There's order. It, it pulls. It unites as a transcendental unity, man. So. What happens when you ruin tradition? So I want to hear from you guys real quick in the comments if you made it this far. What do you think if you live in the perfect, you could say, utopia? What's like the highest ideal? What, what's something that you would think that people would respect? Would there be honor there? Would there be something that people would recognize? In my previous video a couple of days ago or a week, I made it about righteous bodybuilding will save the world, noble bodybuilding, because I believe that as you begin to build up this vessel to try to make it strong, beautiful, you learn focus, discipline. You have to learn consistency. And as you begin to put in this, this work, this suffering sort of, to relent against just dying, you create something beautiful. And so you start to get a distaste for what is ugly, and not just ugly in the sense of physical, but ugliness, because ugliness is decay. It's, it represents death. It represents going down, downward, instead of something that is, again, high, something that's higher. And so I think that the lack of tradition in our modern day, the lack of transmission with the divine, is impacting men and women all around the world. And we see the defeatedness, man. We see the defeatedness in people. We see a sort of formlessness arise in man. Where we're walking around, we're, we become very floaty. We become very floaty. Because everything goes now. It's a mixing. It's a melting. It's a merging of everything. 
everything goes, everything's celebrated. You know, everything is is la la la, dandy dandy. We just fight a lot. Now we got the the right goes against the left, and it's all reactionary. It's all like we're, it's losing tradition. It's a, you losing the unity, and so people are losing their minds. And we're just trying to get by. We're so fed up with it because we want to exist, man. So you know, what do we go from here? Well, you either indulge. You indulge, you know, you live a hedonistic lifestyle or you become a monk, you know, you become a monk in the sense where that's why I think Zen is such a popular thing. And Zen, Zen, you know, Buddhism has some pretty intense stuff. Like you got to suffer, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of us are reading these new age books and like everything's just like breathe and just be the present. But like in order to get enlightened, you kind of had to go through some shit. Like monks are tough. So uh, it's not all sunshine and roses and candy land, you know, it's like you got to suffer a bit, just like Bill, you got to have a trial of fire. But I, I see the seductiveness of Zen, like, ooh, everything goes kind of every it's like, you know, it's almost like it relieves you from this conscious state, but then you got to go back. And when you go back to being conscious, well, what does that mean? Where well, you still got to function in the world you still gotta work you still gotta make money you still gotta deal with annoying people you still gotta get hate you still gotta you know you just you actually like scrape your knee or something you deal with pain and so you're still conscious you can't escape the consciousness so that's where it comes to this you know you once you have to reintegrate into society you're gonna have to deal with it some of us get depressed some of us are so being down because we're sick of being conscious the, the people that are come really sick of being conscious they commit suicide and that amazes me because what is suicide? It's your brain. It's your brain has come to a point where it's found a way to turn itself off. That always blew my mind. Your brain finds a way to turn itself off and to leave consciousness. That is mind blowing. Okay. But, or, or you try to, to run from conscious through pleasure. Okay, this is kind of fascinating because pleasure gives you a moment of respite from consciousness. It gives you a lapse in consciousness, right? So, so that's why I think that we get postcoital depression. When you have sex, you get sort of this feeling of emptiness because a lot of us go into sex with the feeling of like, I'm going to have this, like I, I have this lust, you know? And an orgasm gives you this like, Euphoria it gives you it gives you immense euphoria for um, for a little bit a relief a uh, uh, coming like of of like okay yeah woo and then boom back into the real world now you got to back go back to your consciousness and guess what if you weren't happy before then uh, here's go back into consciousness again and and now you're gonna have to suffer a bit so so you can suffer man. If you don't like your conscious state, you're going to suffer. So, you know, that's why it's worth living with tradition and living with a higher ideal. Because what it does is it takes you. It's not trying to escape your consciousness. It's making yourself super strong. It's making you f have form. It's making you have, have, have like lucidity. You become lucid. You know, more conscious. You become conscious and become lucid. You know, you want to be lucid in life. You don't want to numb your consciousness. You want to be alive. Okay? You don't want to be defeated. You want to have form. And that takes tradition, man. If you look at the Mr. Olympia. Mr. Olympia, you guys know about it most likely. The, the best bodybuilders on the planet compete for the Mr. Olympia. The Olympian ideal. You have the peak, the pinnacle of aesthetic strength and just genetics. You have these genetic monsters that are there that, yeah, they use drugs. It does not take away from it. These guys are gifted genetically and have some of the most superb aesthetics you've ever seen in the entire world. So you have them competing. The Mr. Olympia guy is the representation of the perfect physique. The Olympian ideal is the, the Olympian, the highest ideal of being. And, and you get that through a sort of Aiming at something that's skyward, a skyward vision, a, a look towards the north, you know, and, and that's the peak of 
the mountain. In the peak of the mountain. And the mountain, a lot of people, you know, they want it right now, man. They want the, the mountain is is way in the distance. And it takes your whole life to get there, probably to the base of the mountain, and then you die, right? But it's an ideal. You go towards it. You go towards what is what is the highest. And to do that, you gotta have rituals because it's the ritual is like a step. It's like practice. It's like, okay, I'm 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 doing it, I'm moving towards something greater. If you don't have that, what I find happens is it's very easy to lose sight and get off the narrow road. And and just as a quick example, I think that's why a lot of people go to church because going to church makes it real. Because when you're surrounded with people that believe the same thing and uphold a certain tradition, well, it makes it real. And so, yeah, it probably helps their life. And all of us over here that are mocking it, ah, stupid Christians, you know, going to church, Jesus, ha, you know, like, have we put any what do we have? The IQ of a lima bean? Like, have we put our two cents together and thought a little bit deeper about this? But no, the world is like kind of telling you like, oh, reject this, let this go. Don't, tr no tradition, nothing. They don't tell you this exactly, but it's it's happening. It's a, it's a smoothing. It, it, look at Netflix. Like it's a constant wearing on the identification, on the wholeness of the individual and the family, teaching you all this stuff and like showing you this. And it's not good, man. So again, pornography, a lapse in consciousness. I think a lot of us make fun of WWE, right? Wrestling's fake. You know wrestling's fake, right? Yeah, wrestling's fake. You know what else is fake? Pornography. It's fake. You know what else is fake? Movies. Fake. Fantasy. Video games are fake. It's all fake. You know what, though? It gives us a moment to breathe, to take a break from the consciousness. We go into a different world. Go into someone else's bedroom. Kind of weird. You know, it's kind of perverse kind of cuck you're a cuck okay you're teaching yourself to be a cuck stop that shit it's not good and uh yeah man it's, it's up to us and we gotta be more there's too many cowards too many cowards and i don't think that we should exactly react to to the degenerate stuff we shouldn't just make all these videos and call it out we should live a higher ideal we should live unashamed and 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 we should not celebrate decay. We shouldn't we shouldn't we shouldn't like think that we need to just blend in. No, we're different. We're in the world, not of it. We're separate. Okay, and we're just we're being cowards though. I see it a lot of times. And myself included, I'm a fucking coward sometimes, you know? But we gotta stand up for what's right. Okay? And uh keep our skyward vision. Hyperborean. Yeah, man, that's it. You know, that's it. I wanna hear from you guys the ideal. The, the, what you would see in a culture of strength? What what would it be for you? You know what would it be, man? How would you be? What do you think should go? What do you think? What do you what are you being too lenient on in your life? Like what what should go? What should stay? What new rituals should you bring in? What you up, uphold as a man? You know. So uh, let's look at it. Let's dive into it a bit. It's fun. And it's it's necessary. So guys, with that being said, I hope you have a really beautiful day. Hope you're blessed, man. You know, hang in there and. and hang in there because I know it gets lonely. I know it gets like, you don't always see the reason you, you get stuck in your head. Don't run from the consciousness. Like your insecurities, it's fine. Just be insecure. Just like, let it be. You'll figure it out. Life will teach what you need to know. Don't be in a rush to get anywhere. Seek God. That's what I'm telling you. Seek God, dude. Like it's going to change your life. And don't think you got to be all religious and stuff, but seek God, like ask and it'll be made clear. And, and you have direction, you have peace that surpasses all your understanding. Like you don't even know why you have peace, why you're grateful, but it'll be there. You know, it'll be there and they don't know what to do next. And it's just a, a continual process. It's a living It's being conscious, becoming lucid. Okay. You're going to be a powerful man. You're going to be someone that can help people. Someone that can have a family, someone that can raise another generation. That's what we're here for, man. That's what we're here for. So let's live a life. Let's be happy. I'll see you guys soon. Let me know if you need any help. Um, I want to hear from you down below. All right. Talk to you soon. Peace.